Thanks for pulling out your pocket, Ronnie. We're going to be finding the slope and the y-intercept when you have been given two points. Okay, and we're not going to do it by graphing, we're going to do it by calculating. To find the slope, this is your equation to, to find the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because slope is rise over run and your rise is your y's and your x's is your run. Okay, so now going to 11b13, we're given these two points. They each have an x and y value. And then we're going to say that this is point 2 and this is point 1. Okay, so using that equation of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, this is my y value for point 2. So that would be 2 minus, remember the formula is a subtraction sign there. This is my y value for point 1. So that all over, this is my x value for point 2 minus my x value for point 1, 1. Subtracting this, 2 minus 1 is 1, 5 minus 1 is 4. Therefore, my slope is 1 fourth. Now we need to calculate the y-intercept. We take our slope and one of our points and put it back into y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we have y equals mx plus b. We get our x and y value from one of our points. I'm going to use 1, 1. So putting in 1 for my y value, then my slope m is 1 fourth, and then my x value is 1 plus b. This 1, make any number of fraction by putting it over 1. This is just multiplying fractions together. So this is 1 equals 1 fourth plus b. Do you want fractions? No. To get rid of the fractions, you multiply everything by something that would eliminate this denominator. So in order to eliminate this denominator, I need to multiply everything by 4. So that everything, even your b. So that would be 4, those 4's cancel, equals 1 plus 4b. Subtract 1 to both sides to get rid of that. Now it's just solving an algebra equation. So scooting up over to here, 4 minus 1 is 3 equals 4b. Now dividing both sides by 4, so that goes away. So we see that b equals 3 fourths. Now we know our slope. Our slope was 1 fourth, and our y-intercept is 3 fourths. We can write an equation for that line. So the equation for that line is y equals 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths. All right, let's go down to one with negatives, 11b15. We're given two points, and we want to find the slope and the y-intercept so that we can have the equation of the line. Using our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, pick which one you want to be point 2 or point 1. I'm going to say this is point 2, this is point 1. These are my x and y values, x, y, x, y. So plugging those into my formula, y2. Okay, this is my y value for point 2, negative 6. The formula is a subtraction sign. My y value for point 1 is negative 1. I would suggest putting that in parentheses. All over my x value for point 2, negative 5, minus, because that's the formula, minus. My x value for point 1, negative 2. What do we do when we minus a negative? Minusing a negative becomes adding. So negative 6 plus 1, negative 5. Minusing a negative now becomes positive. A negative 5 adding 2 is negative 3. What is a negative divided by a negative? A positive. So our slope is 5 thirds, a positive 5 thirds. Now we want to calculate our y-intercept. So we have a slope and we have an x and y value. I'm going to choose point 1. And we plug those into y equals mx plus b to calculate b. My y value was negative 1. My slope was 5 thirds. My x value 
negative 2 plus b. That's the only unknown I should have. I can take any number and make it into a fraction by putting it over 1. This is just multiplying fractions. So I have negative 1 equals, watch your negatives, a positive times a negative is a negative. Negative 10 over 3 plus b. Do I want fractions? No. So I need to multiply everything by what will eliminate this denominator. 3 will make this denominator cancel, so I multiply everything by 3. I use parentheses because parentheses shows multiplication. 3 times negative 1, negative 3. These 3's cancel, so my negative 10 stays there. So it's like negative 10 times 1 plus 3b. Algebra, add your 10 to the other side. That becomes a positive 10, adding in a negative 3 is a positive 7, 3b. Now divide over your 3 to get rid of that, and b equals 7 thirds. Now we know our y-intercept and our slope, so we can write the equation of our line. y equals 5 thirds was our slope, x plus 7 thirds, and that is the equation of that line with those two points.